Hi folks and welcome to another BPM technical tutorial. Every now and again I come across little nuggets, little fragments of usage of BPM where I go, oh that's good. And uh, I want to take a few moments and uh, share those with you. So in this puzzle, I'm working with uh, BPM coaches. I'm debugging some very advanced BPM coaches that involve JavaScript and complex controls. And what I do is I've built my coach. I hit my play button on my coach. Uh, the coach appears. The coach appears. Here's my coach. All very sophisticated stuff. And when I hit my button over here, something should happen, but it doesn't. So in my coach control, I entered a debugger statement. So by including the JavaScript statement debugger, uh, that causes the debugger to be invoked and stops processing at that point. I'm using a Chrome browser here. If I hit Control Shift I, that brings up the debugger. And if I now click on one of my buttons, boom, we have reached a breakpoint where I've reached my debugger statement. Great. So now I can look at my code and try and figure out what went wrong. Now, while I'm looking at this code, it's not inconceivable that I also want to look at the WebPD browser. I also want to look at WebPD to have a look at uh, my visuals and other wiring. I may go, oh, did I define this variable? So I can tab back to WebPD and now I might want to click into something and I'm clicking my mouse button and nothing is happening. Absolutely nothing is happening. This browser is locked up solid. And the reason it's locked up solid is that we launched the human service from with inside WebPD. And WebPD is now currently stopped because we're running this debugger. So we're paused here. The whole browser, the whole WebPD browser is paused. So if I resume the browser, if I resume it, now things are working again as they, as, as they should. But of course, I've unpaused my debugger and I can now no longer look at the variables in my debugger. We've moved on. If I go back, inject another breakpoint, we're again locked out. So this becomes awkward. This becomes very irksome to use. If I want to navigate uh, through my JavaScript and Java so uh, JavaScript and HTML source code of my web page, while at the same time looking at my web PD, I'm locked out of it. And I did this a number of times and uh, got frustrated with this. Fortunately, there's a really, really, really simple solution. When you're working with a human service, if we go up to the overview tab of that human service, one of the options available to us is to say use as URL. And if we say use as a URL, we get a URL that can be used to launch that human service. If I copy this as a link into my clipboard, open up a new tab, paste in the URL, and run it here, up comes my, uh, my uh, human service page. So I've launched my human service page directly through a URL. If I hit Control shift i to go into debug mode in my Chrome browser, and I uh, activate a breakpoint, I execute something which has created a debugger, as we see. Once again, I'm in debug mode. However, if I now tab over to my web PD, my web PD is alive and well because this browser web page and the browser web page running my human service are not the same web page. They are distinct web pages which allow me to uh, uh, pause one, for example, my, browser, uh, my human service in debug mode while continuing to drill in into these, uh, these items to look at the nature of my coaches to see what any particular problems might be. And that's it, a very short tip, but uh, the core of this is that if you have a human service during debugging, you can say use as a URL, you will get a URL which can be brought into the web page, 
uh, and you can run it. And one other benefit of this is that the URL remains in the web page. So when you want to rerun it, you just come up here and click refresh, and the web page reruns. You don't have to rerun it again from the web PD environment. You can launch it as many times as you like. So, a quick tip. Hope you found this useful. I look forward to making more of these in the future. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.